30 years ago, a movie was released which changed my life. All the subjects that I hated in school, history, geography, and archaeology were suddenly fascinating to me. The movie was Raiders of the Lost Ark, and the hero was Indiana Jones. Cinema was forever changed, and 30 years later, I'm proud to bring you the Indiana Jones World Map a passion project of mine authorized by Lucasfilm. The map shows you every archaeological discovery that has been made by Professor Henry Walton Jones Jr. PhD. And not just the artifacts from the movies, but the treasures from all of the novels, the young Indiana Jones TV shows, the comic books, the video games, and the theme park rides. A lot of work and research has gone into this, and I wanted to share my adventures of putting this together with you. I've been a ginormous indie fan since the first time I saw Raiders of the Lost Ark. Still today, in my mind, it's the perfect movie. Indie is amazing, of course, but so are all of the supporting characters and storylines. Raiders definitely defined how great an action-adventure movie could be. Temple of Doom is actually my favorite. I love how dark it is, it's non-stop action, and the stakes are high. Plus, come on, it has short run. The character development in Last Crusade is awesome, and I find the lore surrounding the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull fascinating too. My official involvement with the world of Indiana Jones has mostly been with licensed products like prints and trading cards. I've also created zombie parody posters for each of the four Indiana Jones movies, which were great because I got to study the fine details and textures of the original masterpieces by Richard Amsel and Drew Struzan. The idea to illustrate the world map came about three years ago, and I did this sketch which I presented to Lucasfilm. At the time, I only displayed the artifacts from the movies. I also made the mistake of including the first Grail tablet marker which Walter Donovan unearthed, as opposed to Sir Richard's shield which was of course discovered by Indiana Jones. So at that point, I realized I really wanted to do this big and include everything I could. I spent the next three years researching the books, the comics, the video games, and started writing down pages and pages of notes, diagrams, and charts. Eventually, I needed to start mapping everything out, which was a challenge. I wanted to include illustrations of the artifacts without losing sight of the location in which they were discovered. For some of the larger circles and arced lines, I had to rely on household objects like plates and buckets. When I really needed large circles, I turned to my friend R2-D2. He was happy to help, and let's face it, there had to be some kind of connection to Star Wars here. Once everything was drawn out, I began painting with washes. Painting all of the artifacts were fun, but the surrounding geographies were daunting. One thing for sure, I can now say I've painted every country in the world. With the end result, there are 36 different archaeological artifacts displayed. Each artifact is numbered chronologically at the location Indy discovered it. There are three legend sections that list information on the artifacts, including the name, city and country, year it was discovered, and the title of the story the artifact was found. There are also some symbols for each entry. The key chart lets you decipher those symbols for each artifact to see how the story was presented, be it from a film, novel, comic book, etc. In many cases, these artifacts and stories have been delivered in multiple platforms. For example, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis was first designed as a video game, but later it was also developed as a comic book. To help commemorate the movies, which are really the foundation of it all, in each of the four corners I illustrated an exotic stone relief carving, representing a cultural motif from each of the four films. The print itself measures a whopping 24 by 36 inches, fit for a world map. It's also standard movie poster size, so it's easy to frame. This print is limited to 250, and each and every one is signed and numbered by yours truly. What's more, this charity print is funded by the Adirondack Comic Fest, and all the proceeds are going to American disabled veterans. I hope you enjoyed this behind-the-scenes look, and I hope one of these world maps finds its way into your own treasured collection.